prayer and worship in spirit and truth. The day of rest as a day of self-reflection. Part 6 of 12. Revelations of Jesus Christ from 1884 to 1950. Thus saith the Lord, Ever since the first era I taught you to dedicate the seventh day to me. Since man devotes six days to fulfilling his worldly duties, it was only right that at least one day be dedicated to the service of the Lord. I did not ask man to devote the first day to me, but the last, so he might rest from his labors and dedicate himself to meditation, granting his spirit the opportunity to approach the Father and converse with him through prayer. The day of rest was instituted so that man, forgetting the difficult struggle for existence for but a moment, would give his conscience the opportunity to speak with him, so it might remind him of the law and he might examine himself, resolving within his heart to pursue repentance. Back then was the Sabbath the day that was dedicated to rest, prayer and the study of the law. But men, in following tradition, lost sight of the brotherly sentiments and the spiritual duties they had towards their fellows. Time passed, humanity developed in spirit, and Christ came to teach you that even on the days of rest you shall practice brotherly love and do good works. With this, Jesus wished to tell you that, although there was a day dedicated to meditation and physical rest, you must understand that, for the fulfillment of the mission of the Spirit, no specific day or hour could be designated. Despite the fact that the Master had spoken to you with utmost clarity, men nonetheless distanced themselves each one seeking the day that was most propitious to them. And so, while some continued to retain the Sabbath as the day of rest, others adopted Sunday to celebrate their worship. Today I speak to you once again, and my teachings shall convey to you new understanding. You have experienced much, and you have developed in spirit. At this point, it is not important which day you dedicate to rest from your earthly labors, but it is all the more imperative for you to know that every day you must walk the path I have laid out for you. Understand that there is no specifically designated prayer time, because every time of day is appropriate for you to pray and practice my doctrine for the good of your brothers.